Castro, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly love reading from the 11th through the 17th of March. Let's get straight into it. Five shuffles. For those that, for those that resonate with the energy of cancer, it's going to be a general love reading, ladies and gentlemen. General look into the collective of cancer. What's going on with you? Right. No wasted time. Boom, baby. Things are looking good. We got a 10. 1 plus 0 equals 1. All right. This is fluidity when it comes to communication, ladies and gentlemen. This is clarity. This is insight. All right. But despite this insight, there seems to be a bit of friction when it comes to optimism. All right. <clears throat> Interestingly, why would why would optimism? You know what? Maybe just maybe things are getting better and things are clearing up and you have yet to fully immerse yourself on that wave of allowing the energy to channel through. All right. Interesting. What you have on your mind is cooperation, collaboration, coming together and working together with someone. And the, and the story continues to unravel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look, in the recent past, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Clearly, just recently, you had some sort of initiation of a situation that is bringing about change and is unfolding. All right, that is what I'm seeing here. And what you have on your mind, the Empress, is all about growth expansion. Okay, so clearly you want to grow a situation, you want to nurture a situation, you want to cater to it, you want to, you want to progress this. Okay, cross watcher, I'm, per, I'm ha pretty sure you're happy to hear that. All right, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, things are not as perfect as your desires. Okay, the third ace, but you know what? You're headed towards that. You're headed towards really experiencing something quite beautiful. All right. Not only is there initiation of new, of something new emotionally, but mentally. However, also action, right? Cancer is taking action while the person that they're dealing with seems to be in a stagnant position. Interesting. Cancer, I feel that like you're wanting to revitalize a situation. You're wanting to enhance it. You're wanting to re-enkindle it. You may want to reconcile a conflict. I don't know what's going on, but, but you are taking a shot, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I'm not getting so much energy when it comes to the relationship as I am of you, Cancer. And you got this energy about you that is just committed to bringing about new a new situation, a new ordeal in your love life that is what i'm seeing all right to further clarify this tell me what is cancer trying to create for themselves with all this energy all right moving from a place of perplexity moving so if you the relationship's been stagnant you're seeking to break from that you're wanting to work on it flat out okay why is the empress here this energy of growth, expansion, of nurturing on your mind. It, and it is just coming forward with a fury, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, I'm telling you, I just don't see any energy holding cancer back. All right? It is just like, man, <clears throat> I might as well call this reading The Wooing Crab. The crab is going to do some wooing this week all right however ladies and gentlemen i know this sounds all nice and dandy and all <clears throat> tell me about the energy the mutual energy that is present in the in this relationship in this connection that the cancer seems to be involved in all right so where the relationship currently stands seems to be of equal ground in other words, if you haven't been giving to this relationship, Cancer, that's where it's at. And that's where you're receiving nothing. Okay? Tell me more. Yeah, it's been some sort of stagnant energy, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't blame you. It seems that like you are taking initiative to break from this stagnancy. 
unlike your person, seems to be in deep contemplation and not moving anywhere. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. Okay, they may have a bit of an ego trip, all right? They may feel as if it is your position, your duty to take action, to put some sort of effort. All right, Cancer? <clears throat> that's, that's what I'm getting here. And you know why? Because they just may be hurt. I wonder if you guys are dealing with a Leo. But anyways, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, guys, is, is most certainly going through some tumultuous feelings. All right, so you just may, in fact, be in the position of having to take initiative. All right, what is this full energy in the outcome? Taking a leap of faith. You're just committed to taking an action, ladies and gentlemen. You see, the Sphinx in the traditional tarot, one is white, the other one's black, which, initiate, which insinuates binary forces, right? Masculine, feminine, light and dark, on and on. With that said, when these two, these two binary forces join, then you have the sacred trinity, the man being the conscious, driving these forces, driving the, the, the conscious and the subconscious. The consciousness driving the, or rather, the spirit driving the conscious and the subconscious. All right, in other words, you are just fully heading towards a direction is what I'm seeing. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yes. I'm getting a repeated card here. The eight of... I'm telling you, this Cancer's got some fury energy, man. I don't know what they lit up. I don't know what they lit up behind you, Cancer, but you are on it. All right. Now, let me see. What is this Wheel of Fortune here? Speak to me about this Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position. All right. Guys, I... There's an element of instability here in regards to to your own self when it comes to this relationship. All right, so be wary about how much you allow the current state of affairs affect your personal state of being, Cancer. All right, remain in control, guys. Whatever it is that you dealt with, or whatever it is that you're dealing with, has a notable amount of investment, energetically or time-wise. Yet, it's in some tumultuous and frictional state that needs to come to closure. It needs to wrap up. All right. You see, again, one plus zero, card number 10. One plus zero equals one. There needs to be a culmination here, a, wrap, a wrapping up of the situation. All right. Now, <clears throat> any advice for cancer regarding the situation? Any message that will facilitate them in bringing about harmony... <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Interesting. Yeah, Cancer, you got... Look, at, you got a lot to give this individual. You got a lot to give this individual when it comes to the feelings that you have. Mm. All right, guys. I, I'm, what I'm getting the sense of is that whatever you're dealing with isn't so established, okay? And your, your energy may be directed in other places or other people, right? You may have those side hoes, how, they pe how people tend to call them, right? Not your non-primary objectives or your non-primary potential suitors, okay? If you're wanting to make advancements towards this individual, you better cut any, anything else that is drawing your energy, okay? That is your advice. That is your advice. And you know why? Because you got something quite significant within you to give this situation. You have the power to influence this appropriately. But so long your energy is being expended elsewhere, you're only limiting yourself. You're only limiting yourself. So be serious about the situation. Be serious about this individual. If you're taking the action as it seems you are, and don't play games because you're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. All right, might as well embody your full potential in regards to this energy of, of the empress that you're wanting to project onto the relationship and move with that. Beautiful, beautiful. Even ladies, ladies, you could be initiative. You could be action oriented. All right. You don't, you know, they say that women should wait for the man to make the move. Yes, but there are ways that women can make moves that aren't masculine. Okay, you can initiate conversation, you can initiate making the move in a feminine way. 
All right, and that's for you to devise. Now, I'm gonna take this to the extended, all right? And I'm gonna bore into this individual's mind, their emotions, and the actions that they're gonna, that they're gonna take towards you around the proximity of this time. So if this was your reading, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you there. Otherwise, I hope you use this message to your benefit. I'll see you guys.